cancers are not all created equal. More and more we learn about differences between um, you know, lung cancers, breast cancers, colorectal cancers, and so forth. And in order to make the best individualized treatment uh, recommendation for the patient, we need to know about the genomics of that tumor. The value of genomic testing is that uh, if you do it initially with initial biopsy, then by the time um, you see the patient and their presented tumor board, you have important information. You have information regarding um, how responsive the cancer is to chemotherapy. You know the molecular subtype and you know about the prognosis. By sequencing the tumor, then you know what is driving that tumor and you can try to turn off the drivers with specific drugs. It's more targeted therapy to your tumor, so the efficacy is better. And it's been proven in practice that you have better outcomes if you turn off the gene that your tumor is addicted to. We have uh, many success stories of uh, patients who had their whole genome sequenced, the genome of the tumor sequenced, and we found mutations for which at the time we didn't have FDA-approved medications who were receiving standard of care treatment, and then um, once clinical trials were available that targeted that specific mutations, those patients were enrolled in those trials and started taking the medications and responded beautifully to those uh, treatments and keep responding until, until now with minimal toxicities. So that's the importance of um, checking not only specific genes, but doing a more comprehensive uh, testing for the whole genome of the tumor.